Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode of Grivot Gaming. I'm going to be doing a long jump into Wailing Woods. So, probably should be pretty calm and uh, give us some time to chat. Topic of the day is superhero movies. I guess it's fitting too, since I think there's somewhat of a superhero theme to Fortnite, although I think I would actually have to play the uh, Save the World content to actually know that for sure. It certainly seems to have that type of aesthetic. So pretty much if you've watched a movie in the last, well, I'd say 10 years, you're pretty familiar with the genre of superhero movies, because almost every other movie these days is a superhero movie. The... Uh, I think the only problem is that every other movie is a superhero movie. There's some stories from superhero fiction that I think really needed to be told, and probably in the 80s and 90s it wasn't really something that got much traction other than Batman and Superman, I suppose, but not really much other uh, superheroes got much time of day. Stuff like the X-Men and Avengers were not even a consideration at the time but nowadays it seems like any superhero property is, is viable for Hollywood they are pretty much snapping them up as fast as uh, they can get the name of a particular superhero and I don't think that's a great thing of course that is just my opinion and the reason isn't that I don't like superhero movies. I actually do quite enjoy quite a few. And I watch most of the, the big ones like the Avengers and whatnot. And I'm a big Deadpool fan. Although even with the latest Deadpool movie, I didn't enjoy it that much. But uh, to each their own. But it's more the fact of what we're not seeing as a result of seeing all of these superhero movies. And that's just regular, plain old action movies. And what I mean by plain old action movies would be like, more like the 80s action movies with, uh, you know, Commando, Predator, Aliens, those type of movies. And I feel what's happening right now is in favor of all these superhero movies, we're not getting to see what other types of action movies that might be out there. And there are some pretty impressive action movies still being created in this day and age, but they're kind of getting drowned out by a sea of superhero movies. So, for example, I'm not sure if everyone has seen the movie The Raid Redemption, it's not even a Hollywood movie, it's actually Indonesian, I believe. And it features the Silat martial art. And uh, anyway, that, that I would say is probably one of the best action movies I've seen in the last decade. It is action packed, it's kind of, I mean, it's got a simplistic story, but it has a story. And, uh, yeah, it, it it really stands out just for how visceral it is and how gritty it was. And interestingly enough, a lot of superhero movies have taken a lot from the Raid Redemption. If you saw the uh, Judge Dredd movie, then you would find the Raid Redemption very familiar because the Judge Dredd remake is effectively... A photocopy of the Raid Redemption with a thin veneer of superhero. It's pretty much the same story, just you know, once again with the Judge Dread motif laid over top. And those type of movies to me are they're just not happening as much now as they used to back in the day because there's so much of a focus put on superhero movies see some mushrooms over here and I may grab and one of my favorite types of movies from the action genre are martial arts movies and I found that something that's really kind of got choked out as a result of superhero movies because 
people only have so much money to spend on seeing action movies and if people are already watching superhero movies then you know why are they are they really going to have the time and the budget to watch other types of action movies in addition to um you know the superhero movies so i think what's happening is people are kind of uh in a pattern now where they start watching a series of superhero movies and they don't really have time for much else pretty much any other kind of movies like just to keep up with the uh um marvel movies alone just the avengers series it seems like you got to be watching a movie every couple of months so sometimes it seems like it's a bit of a chore <laughs> to kind of keep on top of superhero movies i did mention though like Deadpool, for example, for me was a bit of a standout, and I think that was because it kind of threw shade at the existing superhero movies, but interestingly, interestingly enough, I found with the sequel, it, it kind of felt more like every other superhero movie, which is kind of annoying. So, even my current favorite superhero series is wearing a little bit thin. Really shouldn't have broke that tree. Oh well. Looks like this place hasn't been searched yet. That means these treasure chests over here in the barn should be okay. Treasure chests. Boo. That's the first time I've ever not seen treasure chests there. script slayer so one movie I am looking forward to this year is going to be the new Predators movie although there's a series that oh man somebody else looks like I'm popular all of a sudden okay sorry just let me uh, take care of this schlub here Okay. 